Afternoon, guys. So, yeah, here I am back in the, the normal talking chair rather than the gardening chair. So, yes, I know, third video today. Uh, but this one's important. Now, remember the video I did yesterday telling you guys about the, the mayor in the one town in Germany? And somebody had come out and said that, you know, they've clarified that and yada, yada, yada. So, what's going on? Well, the other point to that video was be careful what if that happens. Now, let's hop our plane and go to Canada. We all know about the trucker convoy. We all know what the demands are, okay? Pretty much it started out as a anti-mandate protest, and now it's turned into a protest against Trudeau's leadership, okay? But still, the basic premise is screw these mandates. You know, Canada has been one of the most restricted countries in the world. I mean, it's funny, it's all the, the countries under that used to be under the British crown, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, that seem to have the toughest restrictions. And the people are fighting back, rightfully so. Now, I told you the other day about Quebec uh, saying that they're going to cancel the idea of taxing the unvaccinated. That's probably got something to do with uh, the mandates. Well, now you have the Saskatchewan Premier coming out and saying it's time to look at ending the coronavirus restrictions. Okay. You know, Scott Moe, who's the Premier up there basically said, you know, we need to look at ending this. This has gotten ridiculous, okay? And a lot of this has to do with the fact of the protest. These guys are covering their own ass, okay? Again, just like anywhere else, you know, oh my God, the people are revolting. The people are revolting. What? Why? What can we do? Now, we all know that Sparkle Socks, Trudeau, is... Standing firm, you know, fringe minority. This is, you know, people are disgusted, all this sort of stuff. Okay. And Trudeau's a complete freaking moron. But this is where I tie it together. This is where I said about in yesterday's video Ottawa's police chief said that he may request aid from the military to stop the protests, the freedom, the freedom convoy. Now, think about that. The city has come out and said, there's no way, you know, they've asked the truckers to leave. The <laughs> truckers said no. Same thing going on with the uh, blocking of the border out west. You know, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police are out there saying, we want the truckers to leave. And the truckers said, pound sand. We're not going anywhere. Okay. If they haven't got the idea by now, this is serious. The people aren't just going to bitch and moan for a day or two. They're not leaving. Okay. So you're getting into the fight and apparently GoFundMe has been pressured again by the Canadian government because now the trucker convoy has raised over $10 million to support the truckers. And I guess the donations have now been frozen again. You know damn well that's at the request of True Dope and the, uh, the rest of the Ottawa politicians. Okay, But the scary part is calling in the military. The police chief said there's no lawful authority to seal off a city, okay? But he also said it's not practical to do it because in his words, he said it would take 50,000 troops to seal off Ottawa. And the police department has about 1,500 cops, okay? So now they are going to request military force to remove the people. That is not going to end well at all. Okay. 
Whether or not the military is going to go in armed, who knows, okay? Whether and what that is. Would they go in with rifles? Would they go in with tear gas? What are they going to go, go in with? You can guarantee that the people are going to fight back. Gee, it was totally okay, correct me if I'm wrong, in the States, for protesters to raise nine kinds of hell in Portland, Minneapolis, Seattle, and the cops ran away. But now when it's the other side, now when it's the conservatives who are like, screw this, we want our country back, what will the Canadian military, what will the Canadian police do? We've talked about this many times. Some of you agree with me, some of you disagree with me on what side the law enforcement will be on. How many military, how many cops say, no, I'm not going? How many tow truck drivers said, sorry, no, I'm not going? They all claimed they had COVID and couldn't drive a tow truck. Okay. Does this get violent? Could it? How does that bleed over into the next province, the next city, the next country. You know, the solution is not difficult. You know, at this point, the restrictions need to be lifted countrywide, not just little ones in Quebec or little ones in Saskatchewan. Okay. The restrictions need to be lifted from the people. I think if the if they did that the protesters would end. The next thing they want, there's still some out there, they want Trudeau to resign. Now that's pushing it, but at least removing the restrictions might get something done. I'm not a rocket scientist. I'm not a heart surgeon, okay? But the solution is so easy, a caveman could do it. But... Trudeau ain't as smart as a freaking caveman, okay? You want to end this real quick. Tell all the Canadians, all right, we're ending, we're ending the mandates. We're opening up the borders for the truckers. We're reopening businesses, and nobody has to do all this stupid shit. It's not difficult to figure out. The people are standing up. The government officials... Quebec, now Saskatchewan, are listening. It's about time the ones that sit on the top, like he thinks it's his throne, it's about time they start opening up their ears and shutting their damn mouth. Pinball out.